That's the Hawaii football team. It is 21-0. Hawaii football, 21-0 over UH, the other UH, Houston. We got the fans in the house here. Not a lot of fans, but we got Hawaii representing. 21-0 is the score. It's halftime. We're in Frisco, Texas. And uh, it's the New Mexico Bowl, and it's 21-0 Hawaii. What an amazing first half. If you saw, the defense has been playing great. We got interceptions. We got Panay Pavihi with interception. We got Michael Washington with interception. We got touchdowns from Day Day. We got touchdowns from Calvin. We got touchdowns from Laulu. So we got a lot of uh, just everything working right now for UH. This is the best I, I think I could have imagined we play the first half, but it's a nice day to be here. And uh, Houston, I was about to get yelled at for not having my mask down, so let me walk up here. Lots of fans here. Cheese! Yeah, buddy! Let's go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! 21-0. We're gonna go up here and check where everybody else is at. There's a little enclosed area over here because it's really cold. On the stadium video boards, we are. So you see up there, it's pretty cold right now, so a lot of people are trying to get some heat. Uh, we got 21-0 and we got fans in the house. We're cheering. We, you, you, I don't know if you guys can hear Hawaii fans on TV, but lots of Hawaii fans making noise here. Oh, mahalo. We had a day-day touchdown. We're seeing a lot. That shovel pass was beautiful. The Laulu, we saw him come in early in the game. We saw Jonah Laulu come in and they tried to pass to him and... Uh, it's kind of nice to see him get worked into the offense and that shovel pass was perfect. Right on the goal line after a big Shevin run, a big Shevin scramble, you saw that Calvin Turner 75 yard touchdown from, from Shevin. So this is one of the, this is when the UH offense needed to start working. Chee! Let's go! We got lots of fans here right now. Jen, we got Jen's husband right behind me. Well, he's, Donnie is, your husband went to go find some uh, beverages, Jen, but we're all here just having a lot of fun in Texas. We got Hawaii fans in the house. Hey, what's up, Yes, sir. Dream come true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> yeah, baby. Ikuma mau. Oh, we're gonna ikuma mau. Tokyo mau na. All right, so this halftime show has gone in different directions, but Kukiya mau na, Kukiya mau na, and everything else. Absolutely. There we go. We stay live right now, boy. Huh? We stay live right now. Live right now. Oh, we live right now. Yeah, we here live and direct. Let's go, Warriors! Big smile, big smile! Let's go! 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 Mahalo. We got a lot of Hawaii fans in the house. We got Texas people that just moved from Hawaii. We got transplants. We got people here. Everyone's very happy, obviously. This is a great game. I'm going to take you inside right now. So let's go into the indoor area, the Winners Club. They got this open for everybody. Stay a little bit warm. Check this out. Everybody's trying to get warm, stay warm. Definitely not Hawaii weather right now. This is a nice little area here. Gee, all right, let's go. Yep. Really? Yeah. What do you want, chicken nuggets? We uh, just did an early sign in George Johnson on Allen. What? Tell him. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. 
coming to Hawaii, Jordan Johnson. Baby. Jordan Johnson, baby. Tell him what he plays. He's in there, yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah, Jordan Johnson on his way. Here we go, baby. We got recruits. We got people that are, uh, you know, don't really know much about Hawaii. And now, today, they're starting to learn, you know, that Hawaii football, this is a chance to make a mark right here. It's the New Mexico Bowl. It's on ESPN. It's Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas. Mele Kalikimaka, if you're out there. You know, it's been a good uh, a season, you know, to, to, to get to this point. It took a lot. Um, it's still disappointing. A lot of guys not on the field, obviously, due to COVID. We even have a player, uh, Gene Ward, uh, standing uh, standing next to his his. Yeah, yeah, baby. Hawaii fans all over the place. But uh, we talked to Gene, and uh, he's actually not able to play. Uh, apparently, Hawaii State Department of Health isn't allowing Gene to play because he was in contact with the UNLV defensive lineman. So I don't know if you guys. I don't know if they talked about that on the on the broadcast, but yeah, Gene uh, not playing on the offensive line today. His parents are a little a little peeved, which I would be as well because you know it's not his fault at all. He doesn't even have the virus. He he tested negative, so it's uh, rough to see uh, you know some of the players have not be able to play. But you know, in a year like this, that's the kind of stuff that's going to happen. We're here, uh, Toyota Stadium. Obviously, this is the crowd right here, literally. So not that many people, which is nice. Because if you like go bathroom or you like use uh, go get a beer or something, the lines aren't very long. So that's kind of nice. But here, uh, a stadium that was set up for the Dallas uh, FC Dallas MLS team. So the stadium formation is a little different than you would see from a lot of football stadiums. But it's still a very what this area looks like. Okay, guys. Uh, Touchdown, Chad Johnson. And... Yeah, a lot of people here in Texas, you know, they're, they're, they know Allen football. Allen is a huge team in, in Texas. So Allen being the, the school that uh, Coach Graham coached at, a lot of people know that school. So a lot of people are here, or, or a lot of people, you know, they see the Texas connection. They see Coach Graham. I know and they're hopeful that you know Coach Graham might be able to pick some guys up from here. So it's definitely one of those games that this is a good chance. 21-0, you gotta hold on to the lead. I mean this is that last series, I don't know. We threw on third and short. The fourth down we did that pooch run. So uh, we, we got away with something at the end to to go into the uh, half 21-0, but Lots of fans here today. I don't know, uh, Gavin, aloha Gavin, aloha Curtis. Ke oh, Kelly Amoku, of course. Cisco, aloha Cisco, we miss you bro. Bradley, yeah, great energy. TJ, aloha, Melikaliki Maka, Naomi, Melikaliki Maka, Carolyn, Deanne, Daniel. Chihu, lots of Chihus, yeah, I'm sure you can hear them. They're all, you know, there's a lot of Hawaii translators. This is what is a great part about, you know, having Hawaii football um, in a place like Texas where, you know, we don't play here very often. So, you know, this is a good chance for people to get to know our program. They already know Coach Graham. They know Allen. They know his high school. They know that, you know, his style. So that guy I just saw, he ran me down. If you saw the coach, Jordan Johnson is his name. His dad just ran me down to tell me that he's going to be signing with UH. So that's amazing. That's how... This is, I think, a lot of the reason that Coach Graham wanted to play here. Playing this game is to get an extra chance to do some recruiting. So it's kind of windy right now, I'm not going to lie. I already got my third layer on. It's 54 degrees. I actually got warmer because it was in the 40s. So now it's 54 at least. But the sun you see over there, the horizon. We got the sun getting low already. The sun will probably go down. Let's see. 5.30. So, you know, uh, maybe when this game is over, we'll have, a, we'll have a sunset when this game is over. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool here. And by cool, I mean also cold. So if you're... Uh, if you think Texas doesn't have cold weather, it also has cold weather. They also have winter weather here in Texas. 
Just trying to regroup here. Just give me a minute. Well, those. Anyway, that's the control room. So I give you guys a. So I give you guys a good look at the game. I'm just kind of walking around, giving you guys a feel for how this stadium is. Yeah. yeah! Lots of fans here. I love this. Lots of Hawaii fans and go balls. Let's go find Fuchsia though. Let's go find some other fans. Yes, Jen, it's been a great game. It's been awesome. So this is the Hawaii. Hawaii, and you look at Houston, you look at Hawaii. We've probably been, well, we've been louder because we also have been winning, but it's nice to have a lot of Hawaii fans here. <laughs> Yeah, we got to see this jersey up here, right here. Holiday Bowl action right here. No way. So your coach's teammate then, huh? Coach Victor, who was on the team in the Holiday Bowl, Santa Cruz? No, but you're, he's our coach who played at UH. Victor, Coach Victor? What's his last name? Santa Cruz? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. He's on the that's team. Yeah. yeah, that's who. Yeah, because Phil Cunningham. I don't know if you know, but Phil Cunningham's up there. Did you see Phil? Oh, I didn't. Phil I did. Back in the early 90s. Ah. Oh. That's when, you know, like. Uh, oh, yeah, Phil of course. Was yeah. Back yeah. And, yeah. Well, Venary was playing. So yeah. Venary, yeah. 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 Yeah, of course. Well, his brother's up there right now. Oh, John's not yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Is Venary here? I don't think John is here. Well, look at you. Tell him. We're live right now. You can ask John if he's probably watching this. Tell him. Are you watching? What's up, bro? <laughs> No, this is cool, but this is vintage. It actually is. Right yeah. here, beat Illinois, 1992. That's right. That's right. Uh, just talk about that game, because the last time we played on the, well, since the Sugar Bowl, I've kind of let the Sugar Bowl memories kind of fade. Well, what about this game? You got to tell people what it was like playing in that game, Holiday Bowl. And I met a guy who uh, who was playing on that Illinois team when we played him. And of course, I don't remember. Sports Center, we're always trying to stay in the middle. That's what we're really excited about. They gave us a series. Why are we here? The Big Ten is going to come. It was retro day in San Diego. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't do anything. So, what you picture that said the Phillies in their early retirement last night. Yeah. And in Boston, the Red Sox had many more miracles left. I think it's going to change for its journalism. Man, you guys. That's freaking amazing. So what do you do now then? Tell everybody. Well, for the last eight years yeah. when I lived here, yeah. we think you go from 16, 17, 17. Okay, nice. And then, uh, well, I saw one of your teammates who also coaches and teaches, and that's Matthew Harding. I saw him last year at the San Jose State game, yeah. 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 12, 16. Okay. Yeah. Spicy Club got chicken. Thanks. And uh, we're actually going to move up to uh, Blacksburg, Virginia um, in the beginning of the But you're not going to be a Virginia Tech fan, right? You're always no, going to be a Hawaii fan. Well, we remind everybody who you are, what position you play, Coach Wagner. Send a, send a shout out to Coach Wags because he's watching too. I have had on this show several times. I grew up in Hawaii. So much bang! And uh, great school, great side of the island to grow up in. So. Yeah, there you go. Rich yeah. Miano fan over here. Rich yeah, Miano might be watching too. Rich, if Rich is watching, hey, look, you are some Kaiser Cougs in the house. Yeah. All right, mahalo, guys. Mahalo, Preston. There you go, guys. Cheers! All right, the team is coming back out. All right, the team is coming back out. The team is coming back out. It's 21-0. I hope you checked out. If you're there, HI Sports fans on Twitter, HI Sports fans on Instagram. 
We got some, we got a day day touch. We got day day right there. You see day day right there? Maybe we should make day day. Day day! We should make day day way better, huh? Yeah. Day day's getting stretched out a little bit. But we got a big game here. We got uh, another half to go, so we gotta finish it strong. Win this bowl game, end the season strong. Go Bulls, baby!